Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a new Mega Gadget Collection. Now normally when I do these videos, I've got everything really neatly set up, all the boxes standing up. I've been trying to stand up this box for absolutely ages and it will not stand up. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this video and I'll show you this product first because it won't stand up. This is the Peak Design Slide and this is a camera sling strap. It's a really nicely designed product. If I give you a look at these close-ups of the product shots, very, very nice indeed. And it comes with a little sort of drawstring bag. And this drawstring bag is ideal for actually carrying around all of the accessories that you might need in addition to the accessories that you might need for this particular strap. But once it's set up, you probably won't need that. So let's just pop that off to one side and I'll show you the product itself. So this is the actual uh, camera strap and it's really well constructed. Very, very nice indeed. This is the part that actually goes on your shoulder. And I wondered why they'd wrap this actually in sort of some sort of uh, paper. It was almost like baking sheet. But this has got some tacky bits on the actual shoulder band. And this is good because this is the part that touches your shoulder and it stops it from slipping off. My only criticism is this part is quite sort of stiff. It will give with time, but initially out of the box, it's quite a rigid piece of material and a little tiny bit uncomfortable. And then we've got this sort of webbing part of the strap and then these adjustments here so you can adjust the length. And then we've also got these portions here. And this is the beauty of the Peak Design system. It's got these little discs which you attach to the lugs on your camera so you attach this to the little sides on your camera and then it easily clips in to the strap like so and locks into place. And it means you can easily remove this and actually attach it to other devices. If you buy these extra discs, you could buy an extra set of discs for another camera, for example, and then easily detach and reattach the discs. Now it also comes with this quick release plate so you can actually attach this to the bottom of your camera if you so wish. So instead of having it attached to the side lugs, this will attach to the sort of tripod connector on the bottom of your camera. And then it's easily adjustable to different lengths. So you can easily pull the camera around and get it into a shooting position very, very quickly indeed. So this is the slide camera strap. It's really nicely designed, nicely constructed from Peak Design. And as with all of the products I show you in this video, I'll leave you a link down in the video description to where you can pick them up for yourself. Now moving on, we've got this tiny little product and I tried to remove this from the packaging without ripping it. I think I did a really good job. It's from Silicon Power and this is their uh, really fast 128 gigabyte SD card. And this is something I've been testing in my Panasonic GH5 and it seems to work okay. Now Silicon Power are a very affordable brand and I think they do a really great job on both their memory cards and also their solid state drives. In fact, I hope to be able to bring you a video covering their solid state drives in the future. But anyway, this is the actual memory card. I think it's a, a really good value proposition. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera for you because it's so, so tiny, but it's just really well made. It performs well. And as I say, it's been working fine in my GH5 for capturing 4K video footage. If you want to check out this for yourself again, there'll be a link down in the video description. Now next up, we've got a product from Snug, and this is a case for the iPhone 7 Plus. This is what the product packaging looks like, and something with Snug is that their product packaging is very, very cheap. Uh, they don't waste money on the product packaging. They concentrate on bringing you a really good product. And this is one of these two-piece cases, so this hard, back protector actually comes off and it wraps around a softer silicon inlay and it just fits very, very nicely indeed. Now, one thing I will mention is that the actual Apple logo is exposed. Some people like that because they like to show what brand of phone they're carrying. And I also personally would have preferred that this was a round cutout rather than a square. It's not a deal breaker, but just something worth mentioning. We've got a nice large cutout for the camera, also for the silencer switch. And then we've got integrated buttons for the uh, power on off just here as well. And also around on this side, integrated sort of button area for the volume up and down. Everything works really nicely on this case and it gives you a nice amount of drop protection as well on the corners 
little bit of a raised edge profile on the front as well, so that's gonna give you some protection. And I've currently got a screen protector. I've got a glass screen protector on my iPhone 7 Plus, and it works absolutely fine. It's not lifting up the edges or anything. Now your experience may vary with different screen protectors, but certainly with this glass screen protector, it's working absolutely fine. Now, last but not least, I've got this product here from Omars. This is their Supepia Type-C Multiport Adapter. Now, I've covered a lot of this type of product on the channel before, but this is the first time, the very first time, that I've had a Type-C adapter of this sort actually supplied in a really cool case. So a nice little carry case uh, with a very, very strong zip. And inside, we've got some instructions, not that you're gonna need the instructions, and also the product itself. And this is a really useful product. If you've got one of the newer Ultrabooks that has USB Type-C, or indeed one of the newer MacBooks or MacBook Pros, then you know that you sometimes suffer from lack of ports. Well, this gives you a lot of your ports back. So it's got a captive cable with a USB-C connector on it. And then we've got ports on both ends. Let's concentrate on this end first of all. We've got a D-Sub VGA connector. I'm not sure who uses those nowadays. We've also got an HDMI connector on here as well, so we can connect external monitors. And then round on this end here, we've got another USB type C port, and this is like a through port, so you can still charge your laptop. And that's essential for if you've only got one USB port on your laptop. If you're taking that up with this cable, then you need a way of still charging. And then we've also got two of the older USB ports on here as well and then we've got a gigabit ethernet socket so we can take advantage of really fast hardwired internet connections. And it's all encased in this really nice metal enclosure. The only bits of plastic are these sort of end caps and of course parts of the cable. But it's just really nicely designed. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this segment of the video, if you've got one of these newer Ultrabooks, especially like the Apple MacBook, then you've only got one port on it, which is absolutely ludicrous. This gives you a lot of functionality back. So this is the Omar Supepia Type-C multi-port adapter. And as I mentioned throughout this video, if you want to pick up any of the things you've seen, do check out the links down in the video description. Now I've got one more product here that's sitting off behind me. There was no chance I was going to get this to stand up on the table. Uh, this is from Inertech. I've covered their products many, many times on the channel. And this is a laptop backpack. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it's such great value. And at the moment, I've got it all covered up because it comes supplied with this rain cover. So let's take this off. Now that is really great that it comes with a cover because if you're caught out in the rain, just put that cover on, everything inside is gonna be really nicely protected. Now, if we look at the back here, we've got really nice padded shoulder straps, plenty of adjustability on here as well. There's also an additional strap which can come around the front of you if you want that extra piece of security. This is all padded on the back as well and it's a breathable material. If this is solid on a backpack, normally you can sweat quite a lot, but at least this helps with that sort of situation. We've also got a little carry loop at the top as well and we've got a carry handle let me just show you this handle so this handle on the top has actually got some branding on it and again it's really nicely padded and then we've got the main compartment which we can open up like so and this is really nicely organized just look at how much space we've got in here and we've also got just here something that you might have missed this is a usb port on the outside let me give you a closer look at that so there's a a USB port on the outside and then on the inside we've got this cable. So this cable has got a USB connector on it. If I can just grab the connector. So this has got a USB connector on it. So you can put this into something like one of those external battery packs. And then this allows you to put a battery pack inside your backpack and have access to charging on the outside. Perhaps you're using your phone for navigation whilst you're walking around in a city and then you want it charging whilst you're using that sat nav application. We've also got plenty of space in here for a, a laptop, an iPad. We've got Velcro enclosures, mesh pockets, etc. Really a, a cavernous backpack, but really well designed. We've also got little pockets on the sides as well. And then we've also got two front pockets here, which have got really nice zippers. Let me just open this one. So we've got a pocket up the top here and then also an additional pocket 
down the bottom. I like the design on this as well. It's not quite jet black, it's like this marley grey. I hope that's coming across on the video. And it just looks really stylish. It's quite a large backpack, but it will accommodate a lot. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out the links down below. Please do hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another one very soon.